It's day two of Rediscover Victoria and we're headed to Cactus Country, located just 45 minutes north of Shepparton in Strathmerton. I'm on my way to check out the largest collection of cacti in Australia. Cactus Country sits at a huge 12 acre garden and has thousands of varieties of incredible plants. I'm off to take a stroll through Mexico and the Sahara without leaving Victoria. Here we are, we have arrived at Cactus Country. We're gonna check out some of the cacti from around the world. I hear they've got a garden for every part of the world where they've got cacti. So let's get some Instagram shots. Everybody follow me. We're now here at Cactus Country, three hours north of Melbourne, and I'm joined by half man, half cactus. It's John. <laughs> He's the CEO and owner of Cactus Country. We're about to go on a walking tour, so let's head in. Awesome, let's do it. So it's a really big place. I heard you've got quite a few acres here. How yeah. big is it? So we've got around 12 acres of garden now. Um, Dad's adding another eight acres in at the moment. So pretty soon this will be a 20 acre cactus garden. And they started it? So Jim and Julie started the garden back in 86 and it was officially opened in 88. It's just grown out of control. So what's in front of us now is the beginning of the garden, which was just a quarter acre. And as those plants grew, Dad realised he was going to have to split them up into areas of origin. So we now have South America, North America and Mexico, and right over the back there's Africa. So we're continuing to plant things in their themes, just so that people can get an idea of what kind of plants you'd see in different regions. And where did you get the first cuttings from? So Ed Cromer, back in the 50s and 60s, was collecting plants from all over the world. So he had this incredible collection. Um, the family approached Dad when he passed away. The family found us and said, would you be prepared to take these plants on? Um, Dad eventually scrounged up, scrounged up the money to, to start this collection. It was originally a peach orchard, so that was all sort of bulldozed. And then, yeah, what you see today is sort of 30 years of hard work. Yeah. Do you have a favourite spot? I do, yeah. So this is our big Pasacana Tushekii. Um, so it sort of looks like the big saguaros that you see in the movies, but it's a slightly different variety. What I love about it is just the height and the amount of big chunky arms it has on it. And you've got an amazing Instagram feed as well, oh, and people tagging this place. Has it yep. really boomed recently? Yeah, social media has been huge for us. So it's something that I've been working really hard on for the last, oh, say, 10 plus years. When I first got into the business, um, mum and dad were like, could you please stop wasting your time online <laughs> um, and do some work? And I said, no, 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 this will pay off, trust me. Once it took off, it really took off. It was about two in three people were coming from Instagram oh. to visit Cactus Country. And you know, most of our audience is coming from Melbourne. And so they wouldn't have found us had we not been on social media. It enabled us to really showcase what we have. Weddings have started as well, which has been a really exciting development for us. Who would have thought people would want to get <laughs> married out in such yeah. a prickly place? Yep. But some of the photography from those has been some of the most popular. Yeah. How often do you smash that cacti emoji? <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot. It's basically my signature at the end of every message and email. So good. And you said that some of the cacti are blooming at different times. Mm -hmm. What are the, some of the colourful ones that we might see around or might not see because yeah. the season's over? Yeah, well, it's sort of nearing the end of the season now. There'll still be some flowers to come. Um, we usually get a white Christmas around Christmas time where the big San Pedros and Cereus all flower at once. But if you come around the end of October, early November, you'll just see a flood of colour. Um, a video Dad did this year's had like 7 million views already. Really? Wow! Yeah. It's, it's pretty incredible the, the colours that you get. This is probably a question you get asked a lot. How many injuries have you had in this garden. <laughs> no, you're okay, don't worry. That's oh totally no, fine. you break no, it, you don't. buy it, Lauren. <laughs> what just happened there, eh? Um, Lauren just destroyed cactus country <laughs> and now there's juice coming out of one of the cacti plants. <laughs> Director Lauren. After we patched up the cactus and the crew, we continued on our walk through the garden. I think the temptation is for people to pick a bit because they are so easy to grow, yeah, right? But absolutely. you do have a gift shop for that. Yeah, we've got a large plant sales area now, so that's something that we've really worked hard to achieve. It's, it's taken us many, many years to get um, the amount of plants that we have in there and the variety of plants that we have in there. Because obviously people come out here and just see how huge this is and all the varieties that we have, like over 4,000 species out here. And when they get back to plant cells, they're like, have you got that red flowering or that pink flowering or that? And so, yeah, we've, we've really tried to get more into plant cells for that reason. Yeah, it's 
really a good idea because you see it and you kind of really want to take it home. After a lovely walk through the garden with John, I'm keen to check out the gift shop and pick out a little succulent to take home with me. I want to buy all of the things that I've seen and you have that service here. Yeah, we do. So like I said earlier, we've really worked hard to try and uh, expand our plant sales range. This is the only place to get some of our genuine hybrids, to get big cuttings from the garden as well, like established plants. I don't think there's really anyone else hitting that market. So. Well, yeah. there you go, you heard it here first. Yep. Now I have to go and pick some that I want to take home. Good luck. <laughs>